For the past 20 years, we have witnessed great contribution by both men and women in policy, economic, social, cultural, and technological growth of our country. This is remarkable move has proven to us that giving both men and women equal opportunities in all fields is beneficial to the country. Today, we pride ourselves as a country of the first woman Chief Justice, who until taking over office in 2021 has done marvelously well in steering in the judicial arm of government and proving yet again that indeed it is possible to have a woman president in Kenya. Men have been at the helm of Kenya executive since independence and for those 58 years we have witnessed great opportunities and a fair sharing of suffering. Currently, Many citizens are unable to have decent meals, take their children to school, or even pay their house rents. This is worrying trend requires diligent, strategic, organized, competent, passionate, and patriotic Kenyan to address it with finality. Kenya, currently, Kenya has women governors who have broken the glass ceiling and showcased great potential of transformation, and this is observed through the appealing track records over the last five years. Fellow Kenyans, we wish to describe and demonstrate what a patriotic woman, in the name of Her Excellency Madam Anne Waiguru, has managed to achieve for this country and her county of Kirinyaga. Many of us knew Her Excellency Anne Waiguru when she was serving as the ministry at the Ministry of Devolution, where she distinguished herself as the best brain who oversaw the creation of 30% youth, women, and people with disability procurement opportunities, popular known as AGPO, a program that has transformed many lives and continuously to be of benefit of millions of Kenyans up to date. Her incredible legacy of living permanent blueprint in organizations she served convinced the great people of Kirinyaga who are proud to have elected her as the second governor of Kirinyaga County. She also supported more than 71 groups of tomato farmers, equivalent to 2,100 households, 45 groups of avocado farmers, equivalent to 13,000 households, to establish avocado nurseries and giving them the initial 300,000 seedlings. 75 groups of dairy farmers benefited from the subsidized artificial insemination, enough for 50,000 cows besides accessing animal feeds. All these projects have significantly impacted the lives of the Kirinyaga people through job opportunities and on improving their lives and livelihoods. She was further to build four vocational training centers to enable Kirinyaga youth to access quality training and skills required in the job market. We believe and are confident that Honorable Waiguru can better serve this country in a more senior position to enable every part of the country to benefit from such programs witnessed in Kirinyaga County under her leadership. That Kenya Kwanzaa nominates Her Excellency 
Honorable Anne -An Mombi Waiguru as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. The youth and women of Kenya believe that through her transformative leadership, we will be able to gain much through jobs, internships, attachment, and, and entrepreneurial opportunities. That, in demonstration of adherence to gender rule as stipulated in the Constitution, Honorable Waiguru be nominated not because she's a woman, but because she merits to serve the people of Kenya in capacity of Deputy President much better than all her predecessors following her appealing track record. That Honorable Waiguru enjoys the support of Mount Kenya and indeed the entire country and her agendas resonate with everyone, whether young, middle-aged or old. It is such characters that we need in the top leadership positions. The first woman to be the Chief Justice, she has proved that women can do it because we are able at least to, to, to lead. We can do it. It's not only men. And therefore we, we can be able to endorse the, the, Her Excellency Anne Waiguru to be the running mate of the deputy president. Comrades power. Comrades viva. viva. I'm Naomi Kimani, a Kenya Kwanza Youth Alliance leader from Nyandaro County. We are gathered here to endorse Madam Anne Oigoro as the, de as the deputy president, the running mate of the His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. It's a high time. We decided that it's a high time as women to have a voice in this country. I'm as a comrade. Yeah. I'm as a comrade. Yeah. So, as, as the governor of Kirinyaga County, we've seen some of her achievements, such as in the construction center. We've seen that she has constructed around 3,000 kilometers of tarmac roads, 700 kilometers of maram roads. She has also ensured that there are there are vocational training centers for the youth to attain skills and those training vocational centers they have all courses all technical courses for the youth my name is fred Kenya. i'm a member of kenya kwanza youth alliance uh, and uh, my aim uh, my today today i want to talk about peace i want to encourage youths to maintain peace during this political period we know uh, we always have a lot of tension during this political period and to tell people that we have only one kenya and uh, we need Kenya to our political interests. Our political interests uh, should never should never be paramount than the peace of this country. We need a Kenya that uh, is working, a Kenya that is peaceful. And to all aspirants that are out there, to Dumisha Amani, Siasa Achuki, Atutaki Uku Kenya.